Because <laughs> 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 he got those little bird lips. All the power and Thor talk comes from these lips. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. <sighs> Boys, how the fuck are we doing tonight? Uh, I feel great. I know you do. Well, I don't know. As of late, I haven't felt the greatest. But today, right now, I feel good right now. My sty is healing up. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I, I know, couldn't tell. Is. I don't know, bro. I couldn't tell. I don't know. You got you got something growing on your eyes. Fuck eye a sty, man. The shit on your eyes got some shit, shit on its eye. That's what I'm saying, Just dude. Saying. No, I'm saying. Well, you're both saying. It's because my daughter farted on my pillow. <laughs> That's how you're pink eye. <laughs> Dude, I could see her just like getting right in your face and farting and just thinking it's hilarious. That's all she does is fart in my face and I, thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> she's Welcome to Parenthood. <laughs> she's been a bit extra today. I she's she's a jokester for sure. Once you have a child, you'll understand. Little ball of joy. They just fart everywhere. Little fart machines. And they laugh. That's why I like to give her a bunch of candy and chocolate and stuff and then be like, I'm out. Oh, see you later, bro. now. See, yeah, I bet. They just want trick-or-treating. They get a lot and of And then they stuff. want to go to the gas station. I pick them up from the bus stop. Stop. They wanted to get candy at the gas station? I'm like, what do you what want the from the gas station? Candy. You candy. Got a goddamn pillowcase God, for Damn it. And then they're giving away all their Skittles. No, they didn't. Yeah, they're like, oh, we got a school fucking thing. So they, they all like, the candy So they, they dress like? up. Yeah. So, and they don't like Skittles. They know Jeff loves Skittles. No, they like Skittles. I think they did it just to fucking... What? Grind my gears. <laughs> you know what I think they lied. And to I you? understand. I'm the I'm the stepfather. You know, so it's like, I think they fuck gotta, this guy. There's been times that I'm like, I'm going to the store. What do you guys want? Pick candy each, and they're like Skittles. They love Skittles. And then they're like Jeff. And they know I love Skittles. Yeah, Jeff. Look, I got Skittles. You're just so like they're give waving me a couple them in my of face. Yeah. I'm like, hey, what's nah. up with them Skittles? Nah. Oh, I'm bringing these to school to give them away. <laughs> no, what, uh-huh. you know what they did? Uh-huh. You should see my face. They I'm got so a sad. locker full of Skittles right now. Or right. A desk full <sighs> They're like, of we know right if we now. left these at home, Jeff would fucking eat them. Right. Yeah. So they had, to hide, they had to hide stashes, them in their locker. Their stashes in the lockers. <laughs> Smarter than you think. Especially man. the wild berry. Like, where the fuck Ooh. are you going with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Those wild berries stay here. Over here. <laughs> Way to Jeff's heart. Wild berry Skittles. Wild berry. Right. And it's oh. over, Rock. Mm. I've never heard anyone be more passionate about Skittles other than Jeff and Marshawn Lynch. Those yeah. are the two motherfuckers that are like, do hey, or die for Skittles. You know what? Let's be honest. Marshawn made a fucking Dude. grip of money doing stupid shit for Skittles. Jeff can do the same thing. Skittles, hit us up. Right? What's hit up? Taste that rainbow. Up. You know what I'm saying? Best commercials ever. They're, dude, they're so funny. <laughs> the ones, especially that like, don't make it for TV, that you see are like are yeah, fucking the, the, like the wedding one, night, the fake yes. wedding night video. Oh, oh great! About to give if you, you my don't goodness. know, go and Google it. <laughs> Skittles wedding night. You will. Fucking You're about to taste my sweetness. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she tasted the rainbow that night. Yes. Oh, taste the rainbow. Such a good commercial. <laughs> I wish there was real commercials that were like on TV like that. It'd be just great advertising. Probably over in. China in China in <laughs> Japan more likely. <laughs> Have you seen those like famous people yeah. from here do commercials in Japan? Yeah. Oh my god, the, the worst Schwarzenegger, you've the ever Schwarzenegger, seen. really? No, Ben I've Stiller. Never, never oh my that. god, it's always so for corny. energy drinks. Always for some kind of energy <laughs> drink. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm gonna have to check. Hundred percent, dude. Oh. There's one where it's like this little nerdy dude. He drinks his energy room, drink. Room, that's party starter. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he's Schwarzenegger. <laughs> and it's Schwarzenegger just running and jumping over shit. Just, oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking in. Schwarzenegger. I feel like we should. I heard that new Terminator movie's fucking trash. Oh, dude, I thought. <laughs> well, you know. Just I look don't at the it. trailer. I'm out. Linda Hamilton. Whew. I, well, I got in this I, conversation with my girlfriend. Would you have rather her gone to the other extreme where well, you look like Meg at, Ryan. No, not at all. You shot up with fucking well, Botox and you can't even move your lips properly. Yeah, no, well, no, be I, you. Come on. No, I'm all right with Linda Hamilton looking like beef jerky because in all honesty, Sarah Connor should look like beef jerky. Right? Yeah, she's, she's had a rough it. life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Name me someone else that's killed the Terminator, all right? Yeah. It, like, and that's no Your disrespect. whole life you've been hunted. That's by right. Her. That's no disrespect to Linda Hamilton because I'm sure she could kick my ass still at sixty something. Oh man! Yeah, could you kill a Terminator? I bet not. Now, if she put you in a leg lock, 
would you pass out from the choking <laughs> or, or the smell? I think you would get points for like a combo. That's like that's a combination she put that, together. That's, that's oh a, yeah. That's, that's, that, that. Do you see that combo she ducks Sean out with? Is Jesus that, is that the blood loss to my head or is the head the just funk? Pure toxic to your nostrils? Just, um, just seared all your membrane? <laughs> Coming off that snapper. His nose started to bleed and he choked on it. Oh, yeah. How's that 50 50 50 there, champ? Oh, if you, you listen hear very closely, you can yeah. hear I'll tell you in a minute. I'm <laughs> no, not done drinking it yet. If uh, you don't know what a 50 50 50 is, or you're, you're go to our looking YouTube to channel. make a good drink, go to YouTube and check out the 50 50 50 drink. How um, to make a 50 50 hyphen 50 hyphen. 50. And if you type in the gentleman's den, I'm sure there's only like a couple of videos. It's so only math, it. guys. Okay. Yeah. 50, 50, 50, 50. 50 it's just, just, it's math. Yeah. 100% math. Bro science. But it's the perfect mixture for any size glass. Just saying. Yep. So if someone gives you a red solo cup and you're like, fuck, dude. Because sometimes what you don't I know. What if shot glass? Like how many, how much alcohol should I put in here? Well, technically, yeah, if you look at a red solo cup, that bottom mark is a shot. shot. Right. Measured out perfectly, but Daddy don't do just one. No, <laughs> no one. We're usually like the second line. That's got to be like a full. It's got yeah, halfway up. Yeah. Oh, uh. speaking of alcohol, did you hear Utah finally has full, full uh, liquor beers now? Yeah, they, they are that that, that like two percent shit or they something. Had three, they two, had three beers? percent. It's three, called, it was three percent beer in the whole state. Whole yeah. state. So they call it like a two-three state where the, yeah. the alcohol. It's only two thirds. Two, yeah, two to three percent alcohol in the beer. So it would take you like it can get case well, of beer to get drunk. So yeah. if so, if a company had more than that, they couldn't sell it. They Not in that state. state. So nope. they didn't have ice house. No, no ice house. No fucking way. No. It, so that yeah, their people weren't allowed to get too rowdy. You'd have to drink a twenty-four pack to put twelve down. Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm challenge accepted. Thirsty. Challenge uh, accepted. But, but now they're they're with the rest of America now. Yeah, but they're ahead of the drink. times, though. I mean, they got mushrooms and weed, so. Not Utah. Who's hmm? got mushrooms? Let's go there. Denver, oh, Colorado. Denver? Yeah, Den- Denver. That's, uh, dude, that's a 12-hour drive. I could make that, no problem. You can make it. Get fucked up and no, drive back. No, let's all go down there. <laughs> you can Uber it. That's your, that's gonna, gonna be Uber. all right for a couple of months. We're gonna we're gonna put a fund together and start putting a little money away to go to Denver for a weekend. Denver, experiment. Denver. We're gonna go <laughs> Colorado there out there in the mountains, eh? That John Denver's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I shit the rockets be a little dumb. more rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. Me, me and Sean, I don't know if we've talked We're told looking that for story. an 86 sheepdog. <laughs> me and Sean have done that on a whim. I don't know if we told that here. Drove to Denver for the shits. It was literally just a, a night here in the gentleman's den drinking, and it was like 1, 2 in the morning. And I, I was just, burning my vacation days, and Frankie wasn't working. Yeah, and we had like four days off in a row. And, and I have a family and kids, so I stayed home. Yeah, he couldn't go. <laughs> Zing! Zing, yeah. And I was like, well, since we both got this time off, like right now, like we should do something. And I was thinking, like maybe go to the Dells, go to the casino, fuck around or whatever. I'm like, you've never been and to Denver. Yeah, he's like, have you ever been to Colorado? Like, I'm like, no. And he's like, dude, we should go out there for a couple of days. And I was like, man, Just it's on a whim. Drive out there, like it's gonna be so far. We like we Googled it, how long it would take or whatever, and it's like 15 hours. I'm like, we can do that. So we get this like stupid drunk idea. Let's go to Denver in the morning. And left at eight o'clock in the morning. It was actually I think it was we were gonna leave at we were gonna leave at eight, but we had to go get we I were, it was six. We were gonna leave at six, we got up at eight, we went or seven and we left at eight. No, we we left and we had to bring breakfast back for your dad. Well, I don't even know how because it was like two thirty in the morning and the bars were, were just about to close. And that's when Sean texts me and he's like, Hey, are we going to Denver in the morning? <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, dude, pack a fucking bag, let's go. And uh Next thing you know, I'm picking them up. We stop at the bar. We ended up getting a couple. What was it? Well, we got pulled over. Well, yeah, but before <laughs> we did that, we, oh, yeah, we, we got stopped liquor. I had to pick up Spotted Cow. Spotted Cow. Because you can only get it here in Wisconsin. Yeah. So we picked up the Spotted Cow. We're driving back. I'm all fucked up. He's fucked up and shit. We get through like half. We're almost home, you know, back to my place. And like we get pulled over. Right before Grass Lake Road. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like this cop's like, 
I guess he was a rookie, so he's like, goes through the motions. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, just rookie leave my bitch. buddy. <laughs> Eat the bar of soap. Sing just the song, Ricky. Fucking spit it at him. <laughs> give me the goddamn bar. So this like guy asked the normal questions, like, blah, 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 and I give it to him. I'm like, heading home, just picked him up. We're going to Colorado in the morning, blah, 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 blah. And uh, we're going, I said, anyways, we were going out of town. I don't want to be like, yeah, we're going to get fucking fucked up in Colorado. So all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like, he leaves, and this other cop pops his head up in the window, just like, Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Dude, I was like, whoa. And sh- sh- like, he's like, you guys, um, you know, this is a, uh, one of my rookies or whatever. I don't know if he asked you guys, but have you been doing any drinking in the night? And I'm like, I was, it was earlier in the night that I had a few drinks. I, this was like five hours. I'm pretty good. I'm like, nah. Just, you know, picked them up. We're heading out of See, town in the morning. Yeah, I know. I could have told the truth. And he's like, all right, this net. Sean's got a fucking case of beer under his legs. And I'm like, nah, no drinking tonight, officer. <laughs> As the cops got the flashlight, just. And he's like covered it with his legs, like, oh, fuck. So then they Sitting come out back. Of like mother hen. <laughs> Pretty and, much. And I was able to talk. He's like, you know, you know, you were speeding. And I was like, really? And I'm like, you know, I just did get this car not too long ago. I'm still getting used to it. Yeah, the. Uh, the, the 300. The fucking pedal. The it just you know it accelerates. It's, it's all wheel drive. It accelerates a little bit. It's a different speed, you know. So he he's like, okay, he's like, just you know, slow it down and get home. And we're like, all right, thanks. So we get home. It's like, fuck, like now three thirty in the morning or whatever. We end up getting up at like seven, slept in a little bit, go throw our shit in the car on the road by eight, filled up with gas, and next thing you know, like twelve hours later, we made good time. We were fucking in Colorado, fucking we, at the fucking dispensary. We were. At, is that your first? You just you didn't even get to your hotel. No, you just drove straight. No, to no, the no, dispensary? no. No, we went to the hotel we, first. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty sure. I don't we, know. We, were, we were still okay, I think, for the time being. Yeah, we we. You drove. guys wanted to. You guys wanted to set your. No, we your space. So what it was? Like, was okay, so we're gonna set the hotel up. Well, we got the so hotel. We go to the line. dispensary. Oh, I called them. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah. After I take my edibles, I'm gonna sleep on this couch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't even that. We stayed at a La Quinta. Which was, which was like let's just say the, ghetto. The, the, door, the doors ghetto. on the outside of the hotel, like mm-hmm. a motel setup, right? And there's all the this fucking craziness was, by the highway. Yeah, yeah, we were right on the highway. People we're standing like, out by the fences and shit. I didn't like, Man, sleep don't fuck under with my the car. blankets. Fucking I lot did lizard. He, did, he didn't. Yeah, he laid on the bed and didn't move. He like laid like he was dead and just. I didn't sleep didn't under above the, the covers. Above, above the, covers. the covers. I in fact, I think I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you slept on your your sweater. My, I sl- he slept on his yeah. sweater. Didn't even sleep on the pillow. He's like, fuck this. I'm not. He's like, you know, bed bugs. And I was like, fuck, dude, I don't give a fuck. I'm googling blanket. I got up and took a shower in the whole bathroom floor was soaked yeah it, it wasn't like, the shower head was facing the wall but we only but were the there floor for was one soaked. night yeah. and then the next night we went to the holiday inn and it was so nice it was right across the street from the dispensary and right across the street from the strip club you know chingy wrote a song about that the holiday, holiday inn, inn. Holiday yeah. inn. Yeah. yeah i remember that song it's one of your favorite <laughs> didn't he go crazy and stab himself in the eye that was houston oh okay <laughs> Whatever other <laughs> stupid names. I like were. the way you do that right there. Right there. That right guy there. went fucking crazy and carved his own eyeball out, I heard. That's, That's fucking good nuts. For him. Google it. DMX is making a comeback. But yeah, I mean, that was just literally on, on a fucking Isn't whim. And we went out there. It was pretty cool, though. We went out to like the mountains and shit, got all fucked up, went to a couple places, like restaurants. That's where we went to that Twin Peaks we were saying. Yeah, Dude, watching, it was really fucking. Watching the Yeah, burst. you guys sent me a picture of the original Chipotle. Yeah, we did go there, too, because it was right next first, to the suspense. The first dispensary in Colorado. <laughs> Weird, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. So, yeah, just good planning. We went We went to a lot of cool places and shit. We did hit up, like, fucking eight different dispensaries. Just went to go see what it was, like, all they were about and shit. Some of them were pretty sketchy. It was, like, one little room. <laughs> yeah, the, the one where uh, I got the edibles at, the chocolate bar at, it was, like, literally the size of this garage. Now, how does smaller. it... All right, so it's not obviously legal around here. Well, we'll be in Illinois. Yeah, what in a couple months here? Couple months. Two months. Now, how does it work when you walk into it? So a dispensary. you give them your ID. Yeah, you you show your. And your, it's just free. I mean, is it set up like a buffet or? Yeah, well, kind of. Well, kind of like Chipotle. No, <laughs> like there's a sneeze glass and no, you just point no, at no, you. No. <laughs> Everything's in jars, and they have some of them have smell jars where there's a butt in it. You open up, you just. Well, it has like holes in the top, and you kind of just shake it. And oh, so it's free it sniffs. Free yeah, sniffs. Kind of like. Uh, and it has a little Jimmy magnifying Jones. glass yeah. on the bottle, so like you could look at it through the magnifying glass to look at like the crystals. Yeah, to see what it looks like. yeah it's damn! Cool. Would you go to weed college? Right, <laughs> and then they got the um, 
like you know the different edibles like you said the chocolate bars there's there's oils that like, you could cook with and stuff there's the you know brownies cookies gummies so for your morning omelet shit. you can right. splash a little crystals in there well, <laughs> well no like it's an oil so like let's say it, it was olive oil yeah uh, just thc or cbd it's THC. thc yes oh, christ bro that's what i'm saying like they, they got straight bottles that you can just buy of tea like you could just take a sip of it no, you like just, or you could just pour it in your eyeballs there's <laughs> They, they have, they <laughs> have Don't THC waste any time. sodas. They have, they have all that crazy shit, like the, dude. It's the pretty. Remember Listerine strips? Oh, yeah. They have those. I'm, oh, I'm waiting. I wonder how many more years it's going to take until they actually make, like, bars that you can go to and smoke and stuff. Like, it's the same thing as, like, a, an alcohol bar. You can't drive home after Yeah, but you can't smoke leaving. inside anymore, though. Yeah, it's, you can't smoke. But you can go to a hookah bar and smoke. That's different. Okay, They're so not going to let you just smoke weed. Wh- well, why? Well, that, Isn't there a, a li- place in uh, California, though, like a restaurant, where they like put a bong on the table? See, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like You go to a hookah bar, they set it down. Everyone in there is smoking hookah, so as that's long the atmosphere I, I you've entered. Like, you know what you're going into. I feel you know like it what. should be a gentleman's agreement when you walk through the door. Like This is what you're getting into. Right. You know firsthand. If you, wanna, if you don't want to be around the smoke, then you don't come into our establishment. This is a place for smokers. Which takes us to... Yelp reviews that I was telling Jeff oh, about. Oh, God. <laughs> so this lady gave this Yelp review for a barbecue <laughs> restaurant. Gave him a one star. Okay. And she goes, well, I didn't like the paint on the walls. <laughs> oh. And, <laughs> and I didn't like the fact that you didn't have any vegan options. The, what place, the place said something like, pig and cow barbecue... <laughs> I'm oh, sorry we didn't have enough vegan options oh, at our barbecue, barbecue restaurant. <laughs> yeah. That's that's just people being dumb. Well, that's, oh my well, god, that's, that's the society that's we, we live in. Welcome, I know, I welcome know. to 2019. I know. <laughs> everything has to have everything, so everything could be equal, and everyone. Oh, could I need have... a vegan option. Yeah, well, the, oh, the bread doesn't have meat in it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have some bread. You could dip it in my sauce. No, like if I was a vegan, it. I wouldn't go to a place that says <laughs> barbecue. barbecue. Right, like it's no, kind of, that's would, just kind of more common sense. Go to a place sense. that says salad and sprouts. But I wouldn't go to like a place that says like sushi and be like, "Hey, yo, I want a fucking steak fillet, eight ounce with." Because uh, you're not. You want to go stupid. to the professionals. But, but, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? They don't have that shit because it's not a steakhouse. They like, have sushi, or they a, have fucking vegan places. Outback steakhouse. Right. Okay. So they know how to make steaks. Right. I'm going to that but place. You're not going to go to Outback Steakhouse and be like, can I get a sushi? Right. You guys got good sushi? No, I'll go like, to a sushi bar for yeah. sushi. That's what I mean. But like, if someone only ate sushi and shit and they went to a steakhouse with all their friends, they're, they're going to be upset because there's not sushi on the menu? Right. Well, Just you guys should have a sushi menu for people that don't eat no, meat. and the, stuff. The problem That's is bullshit. we're living in a society that... You can get anything from right here from a clicker. But what I'm saying, so yeah, then it's they should make outcome. a bar where you could go and smoke it. And if you go into that establishment, you understand that that's what you're going into. Well, what? there should be a they're restaurant going, then that allows yeah. actual smoking. like smoking. Right, I but agree. Like, but but like I said, you're gonna have that one person that walks in and be like, "Oh my God, is this hookah bar a smoking establishment?" Well, do you remember when we went to agree, Lake Geneva? Um, so Illinois changed the law. Where you couldn't smoke in the bars anymore, right. or restaurants. Yes, I don't know. But what. they hadn't changed the law in Wisconsin yet. Yeah. So a lot of fucking fuckers come up from Illinois to Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And it's such a cool place. Oh yeah, man. but there was still smoking still. So right. we were sitting at the bar smoking, and these ladies were looking at us like Having we were the lunch. fucking yeah. devil. I can't, can't believe, believe. Oh my god. They fucking allow smoking in here. They it's were like fucking ridiculous. disgusted by us. Right. And it's like, <laughs> you know what though? But you came out here for what this place is and in this place that's what people do. Right. Like, the laws still, haven't changed yet. Cut. Right. So it's yeah, still a smoking fuck place. Yourself. If you don't like it, you know what? You can go eat your sandwich outside. Go to Olympic across the street. Right. No, they there's don't more like... smoking in that Olympic. <laughs> right. <laughs> But but there there should be the places like, if you own a business <laughs> and you want you know a certain type of crowd and person at, like you know what I mean like all right so what's the difference? Well, in someone an establishment that wants to should a, be able to make their own rules. 100%. Right. If I want to open an establishment for re, for refreshments, what what am I going to go into? Maybe does society tell me I got to open a juice bar, or well, do I get to open a, a regular bar? You want to open a restaurant oh, with smoking? Bar. You should be able to. And people who don't yeah. like smoke can go to a different restaurant. Exactly. That's fine. You're not going to make as much money that way. 
Well, yeah, that's the thing. It's like that's what I'm saying. It's like niche bars. Like there's, right. there's always bars like in the city where it's like a in Chicago. There's like a Green Bay Packer bar. Well, Wait, a, yeah. that's just going to cater to a One, small subsect of the area. Right. If there's a bar where they allow smoking, it would cater to smokers. Right. If you're too stupid I mean to about, realize, yeah. if you're going to go in there and bitch and complain about somebody smoking, don't go in the fucking place. If you if you are a vegan, yeah. don't go into a don't go to a steakhouse because you're not going to get what you want. Right. I wouldn't go to a vegan restaurant and be like, well, if you don't got chicken parmesan here. <laughs> Oh my parmesan! You know, I wouldn't go to a Mexican restaurant asking for spaghetti. Right. That's that's what I'm saying. So like, I don't get how they don't make something where there's a marijuana bar where people could go in there and know what they're getting into, hang out with other smokers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're, that, that's it's, just even too. Well, with the the thing with the marijuana thing is because it's not it's legal, but it's not federally legal, and there's loopholes and all that <clears> other <throat> bullshit. But if you can smoke in your house, that's fine. I like the people that complain about pe- their neighbors smoking weed and they can smell it. Close your fucking windows. <laughs> yeah, that's to the extreme too. Like, fucking I mean, skunk. Right. Like, so do I got to do I get to tell someone like that overdoes it with their cologne or perfume that like I don't, I don't like that at my office. But where I do you can't. draw the line? Is someone going to open a coke bar? <laughs> but if it was legal, if it was, that's what I'm saying. If it's it legal, it's different. In Wisconsin, what are you talking about? Well, weed's not technically legal federally. Well, th- well, that's what I'm saying though. Right. Well. So, so, all right, and that's what I mean. That's I, why I do you get can't that. Have a, that's why you can't have a marijuana bar. Right, because it's not federally legal. But, like, let's say you wanted to have a bar, like, for hookahs, you do. You know what I'm saying? But, like, let's say you wanted to have a bar that only people that smoke cigarettes can. That's state right. and federally legal. Well, I'd open up a bar, okay? Smokies? No, no, no. I'd <laughs> fucking... Call I'd, it 1980s? <laughs> I'd have, like, mini toilet seats on the table, and they just fucking do lines all day. <laughs> just <laughs> every table's mirrored and it has a razor blade ready. You, you know, as we were just talking, I Here's came up with a great... <laughs> as soon as you sit down, they give you a glass of water and a complimentary razor blade. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Fucking. Hey, hey, we got these cool metal straws for a buck. You want yeah. one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet. I can take that home with me. Fuck yeah. Exactly. It's a souvenir. It's got our name on the side of it. <laughs> it's just... It, it does suck that there's different things in the world that, like are there, there's certain rules that apply for certain things i don't agree with i mean and i still i'm smoking trying to quit right now i don't believe in cigarettes being illegal it's absolutely ridiculous it's only harmful it does nothing beneficial for you but they're legal because the state makes money on it absolutely ridiculous concept alcohol now that's different because that's more of like a uh alcohol is uh, the same uh, exact thing there's no difference. right but it's a release but but you know what i it, it i don't been, even i don't even smoke weed i I drink alcohol, and I 100% agree that weed is less dangerous than liquor. Yeah. Right. Okay. 100%. Because there's so many more things. Now, don't get me wrong. People say that you can be, have like lung problems with, with weed. Hasn't actually been proven. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. It could be from secondhand smoke from people in the 80s. So many people are saying that's worse. Pills, I don't cells. care what people do. <laughs> right. If you want to, alcohol you has do issues with people's then, livers. Then do something. Al- alcohol, you're putting a why do you flammable make, liquid into your body. Why do you make rules that <laughs> with prohibit? With that being said, here's a sip of my beer. Why do you make rules that prohibit people to doing what they want to do? If I right. want to drink, let me drink. If yeah. someone wants to smoke weed, let them fucking smoke weed. Right, but someone there are do, certain things like I, I don't know because well, you know think about the children. Well, all right, like that, that was the, the whole day. thing about like like gambling and shit. Oh, it's gonna ruin people's lives. <sighs> Yeah, if you, oh, if you I mean, don't that have guy's a fucking idiot. Right. It's, it's, he needs help. It is an addiction. Anything's any an addiction. addiction. But you know what? Liquor, Even if it's legal, weed, it coke. doesn't matter. He's going to gamble in some way, whether it's telling the dude at the bar, finding a bookie, going to a casino, and, and gambling in a different way. They're, they're going to gamble because that's what gamblers do. They like the, the, the risk. In all honesty, I'd rather get my checks from America than fucking Zimbabwe, though. Whatever. Well, if I mean what you know, I should yeah. know. My father was a fucking cokehead. I mean, he left our fucking family, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I could be on the mountaintop screaming, cocaine's fucking horrible. Some people can handle coke and have a fucking good time. So who am I to say, don't do fucking coke? That's what I mean. So better than the If you want to do coke and you can handle it. A hundred years ago, it was medicine. This isn't a PSA for cocaine, but... (laughs) See, I've, there, I've never kids. done it. I've, I've, I've never done it, never will. I just, it doesn't seem like something I'd I want to do. I just never did and it because I was 
I'm broke. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke, motherfucker. I can't. See, afford I it. wasn't. A, I was afraid I would like it. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. I heard father. cocaine's amazing. My father apparently had a great time on it. Loved it a little too much. <laughs> but, but like, so that's I was what like, I mean. that was a medicine. I want to do it. Fucking heroin and opium were medicines a hundred years they ago. They still are. They still are, bro. I will, speed yes, is a medicine. I understand that. Adderall. Adderall. You take Adderall, right. you're basically doing speed all day. Well, that's and you could get so much done with no shit. One of the <laughs> one of the funniest scenes from fucking Eastbound and Down. Throws out the big ass bag of coke and just crushes up Adderall. And starts snorting Adderall. I ain't doing coke no more. Right. No, he's just doing Adderall. It, the pharmacy still uses all this stuff, but like back in the day, like they had like uh, opium dens where you would lay in a bed and they would give you a pipe to smoke and you would smoke and you would be so fucked up you couldn't move. Opium den. Yeah. Are we yeah. renaming the podcast? <laughs> that's <laughs> different kind of den. As, as soon as opium uh, goes okay. legal, that's, well, that's, that's what they be the gave great you was podcast. a caregiver. It would be someone, and it's not even a caregiver. When you went into this place, you lay down in a bed. It was basically a bud tender. Basically. And, and this woman would sit there and have you lay down. And if you were thirsty or something like that, or if you she wanted more. You Coke? Yeah. <laughs> that she'd rub your back. I would have yeah. met my wife there. But if, there was, if, those, if those were still open, I'd be for sure finding a wife. But they Madame did shit. Oh, they did shit for you where they would literally hold you couldn't move your head you couldn't lift your head and ha- hold your hand up to smoke a pipe but they would put the pipe to your lips and smoke let, and light it for you so you could smoke and get and so and what'd you do just lay there you just laid there and it yeah. took away your pain or whatever you were dealing well, with I couldn't do that no it was mostly just getting you all fucked up but like that's like me so, just sitting here and someone pouring this drink into my mouth. Like, there was, nah, I'll do it. You ever right, watch football games and you see the guy with the Gatorade squirting it into his mouth? <laughs> like, no, man, give me that. <laughs> but, but how about that? How do you, you know how much, so fucking how much drunk, flow I want? Yeah. If you can go to a place where you were so drunk, you were so fucked up, you couldn't stand or sit up and drink your liquor on your own, and they fed Oh, you it mean to a you. Tuesday? A Tuesday, yeah. It's not last month. Re- re- not last month. Silver October leaves to no remember November. Oh, shit. Start drinking, fools. I'm back on the wagon. Sean broke his sober October streak with a wild <laughs> berry white claw. Uh, it was a uh, black cherry, sir. Was black it a black cherry? Get it right. Yeah, because Kayla handed or handed it to Jeff to hold it for her while she went, and I don't know what the fuck she did. My lady. She's she, got a long time. She, she long literally time like was answering emails and yeah. fucking Well, those dicks were going to suck themselves. You cured know. cancer. Five hard cocks. <laughs> I'm like, I can't keep holding this, and there's about three quarters left in it, and I just made it disappear. I would have just threw it away, not even You're drink it. You're a fucking it. liar. You would have chugged it. No way. Liar. I don't we drink watch, that stuff. We watch your balls shrivel up. Mm, well. It hurts my tummy when I drink that seltzer stuff. I'll just stick with yeah, my Jameson. Your yeah, tummy. It, it hurts your tummy when you drink the seltzer. Here, let me just drink this motor oil Coca-Cola right down mm-hmm. real quick. Yeah, fucking 5W30. <laughs> I, I know. I'm trying to lay off it and quit. Yeah, it looks like it. You bet. That's your second one. Second one, you're right. It looks like motor oil. Duh. You can literally put fuel. a rusty nail in there and it will dissolve. That's what I'm It'll saying. You ever eat a nail off. and you need to fucking get rid of that no, shit? No, the nail, the nail will be clean. It'll come out of your butt just shining. Uh, all I'm saying, though, I don't is... Know where, I don't know where the, the... I would rather have a Mountain Dew, Mellow Yellow, you know, anything but a, Coke. If someone's 50, like, here, 50, have 50. this ice cold Coke, I'd be like, oh, if I was on a desert island, I go tell you to go fuck yourself. The only time I drink, I'll Coke, throw that Coke in the ocean. The only time I'll drink a Coke is like once every blue moon if I go to McDonald's. I don't think it tastes good. I'm sorry. Stuff. Certain things agree with certain people. Everyone has different tastes. Just like how you like alcohol, and that's your that's your vice, and I like to smoke, and that's my vice. So everyone has their own thing that agrees with them. I have a good time and enjoy myself when I smoke. You have a good time and enjoy yourself more when you drink. Uh, and that's, that's, that's what I mean. Everyone's different. Everyone has their own point of views and their own feelings. When they, even like when you eat something. That's true with anything. You can eat Mexican food and you're a blow. Like yesterday, dudes, you had Chipotle and your stomach was fucked up. I had Chipotle. I was fine. Not well, a little bitch. Also because you eat Chipotle every day a week. every <laughs> fucking day. Well, I mean, we could translate into this. Some people like baseball. Some people don't. Right. I mean, it's it's with anything, but I'm talking about your body reacts different. Some people are allergic to different things. No, pound sign World Series. Pound sign World Series. (laughs) Oh God! (laughs) Is this the greatest World Series of all time? I will tell you, it's the manliest World Series of all time, and it's the first World Series that no home team won a game. Wow! No home first time ever. Do you know how many uh, seconds of the World Series I watched? 
How many? Zero. <laughs> Zero seconds? He saw pictures. I saw clips of... 30-second video? Well, you go ahead, Sean. You were so excited. Well, hey, <laughs> listen. Game five of the World Series was the only game to watch, to be honest. Well, no, because the next game, some shit happened, too. But when you're three rows behind home plate and there's girls whipping out that titty meat, that's going to make baseball way better. Way better. World Series titties. World Series, Series titties. titties. And Shut the guy up. with two Blue lights. Bud Lights double fisting, he takes a baseball off the chest. Off the fucking chest. Happy Gilmore style. Off Only the chest. 364 more days till hockey tryouts. <laughs> <laughs> I need to toughen up. Taking baseballs off the chest. <laughs> yeah. Such a good movie. World Series Titty. Shout out See, to Julia Rose and Lauren Summer. That's who they were. Holla. You better stay away. Listen to what Guess I say. Guess what, girls? Those titties would have been amazing on regular TV back but in, in like HD? the 90s. But nowadays, I have the internet. <laughs> and Pornhub has changed my life. So when I see titties on regular basic cable just sitting there staring at me in the eyes, I get bored. <laughs> <laughs> if you were showing buttholes, it might be different. <laughs> I guess they got to step their game up at the World Series. My cousin posted something the other day on Facebook. It's like, how picky are you? And he's on, like, page 67 of Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> Super fucking picky. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh, you got to be a picky motherfucker. Right. Yeah, you, make it, you can't find something on the first page? Well, that's like all the memes where it's the disappointed face when you, when you nut and find a better video. <laughs> and by the way, if you're doing No Nut November, you're a fucking dummy. Wow. I don't know what that means. That. People are doing No Nut November. Ooh. What does that even mean? It means. What do you think? Hold you your can't seed. take your socks off for a month. You can't take your socks. Can't change your socks. For a fucking month. Keep them on. Can't change my socks. Can't do shit. How do you not? It's cuffing season. Right? This How is do when you, everyone's laying yeah, it down. You get exactly. a boo. You get to cuff up for the year, rest of the year, you know? Then you can buy them shit for Christmas. It's fucking, fucking Netflix Christmas. and chill. And then uh, what's the other ones? They get Christmas. They get New Year's. They get uh, Valentine's Day. And then they leave That's you for it. the summer. Oh, yeah. Springtime comes. Oh, it, sundresses it, come out. As soon, as soon as the day after Valentine's Day, there's a lot. There's a reason why all that chocolate's like 90% off. Right. I mean, if you're smart, you'll break over them before that. But Right. You got it. Like, this is the prime the time. Like, October, get them for Halloween. Dress sexy. Have some fun. November. And then right before, you know, December. Thanksgiving so. with the family. Yeah. Eh, I don't even want. That's always a fucking pain. Well, that's, My family's crazy. That's I love really, him to death. Oh, can I bring my girlfriend to Thanksgiving? I guess. Yeah, then you, a month later, you guys are fucking... <laughs> Until you do it, you can't do it every year, though, because then you show Different up and they're going to call her. Yeah. Oh, hey, Beth. Hey, Susie. Yeah. Oh, what? This, every, this is Karen. Every time. <laughs> my, my niece actually said something to me a couple years back. She's like, I remember growing up every year you had a different girlfriend for Thanksgiving. And then she's like... You haven't brought a girl in the last couple of years. I'm like, yeah, fuck off. She brought a Cuffin dude. And she's she's oh, now in college. It's her turn now? Now she brought a dude out from, she's in Tennessee. So they came up together and stayed for the weekend and had Thanksgiving. And it's it's different now. I'm just like, motherfuckers. Like, all right, you're sleeping down here. You're <laughs> sleeping up there. Um, Was he wearing a John Deere hat and had a fucking lipper in? No, th he's <laughs> actually. From fucking Tennessee? They're, yeah, they're from Tennessee. He's not really like that. Like, he's more. You know, like he's just, like one of those retro nah, he, southern boys. He he dresses he's more like, like, a, like a he's into Kane Brown. Does I would, it, does I would say they're, they're like hipsters. They're young kids. They're they're dressing what whatever is in. But like you know what I mean. They still probably they, my my cousin has or my my niece has her southern twang that she talks totally different now that she lives down there. You just pick stuff up. You know what I mean. You with your peers like. Well, yeah. I mean, when your father's a, a pigeon racer. Yeah, dude. He kind of have to pick up a southern twang. Dude, they own a they have a middle school in Tennessee <laughs> that they bought. He has he does his pigeon racing, but he's one of those more uh uh I, I know that's the craziest thing. You know it's nuts that some of those birds We're are. We're gonna like have to have him dollars. on. I know. Right. Dude, he I just I wanna know about I wanna know about the crazy stories. I wanna know about the pigeon racing game. Put it this way, he's got like hundreds of birds, and some of those birds are like twenty five hundred apiece. I know, and he's that's got that, fucking crazy. He's got that certain clap. But I mean, I mean, he's got his own thing. He does his own business. <laughs> like he loves, he loves it down there. They got the, like I said, a middle school, which is haunted. I won't go in there ever again. I'm sorry. 
I mean, some crazy shits happened there. They got pictures of like where they see people in the pictures. I was there and I had an experience. My nephew will Were not you go touched? back. I was. I <laughs> he literally... was Jonah Hill by that demon. All right. All right, so uh, I'm going to break it down in a quick story. So we were out there for my nephew's graduation, and we were staying there for the weekend. They were all fucking with me. They all kind of know that there was, like, stories and this and that. So the, the family that lived in that house before they did, they got up at 3 in the morning, left all their stuff there, and never came back. Yeah, so he got so it free on the shit. Yeah. Yes, he got free it for, for the cheese. Awesome. And he does a lot of business stuff and buying and selling and stuff like that. He has his own business. He, uh, there was also a, a car parts store that was in there. He has a gymnasium full of all his stuff. It's insane. But so we, we were there. I was they're like, you could sleep in, in your niece's room. And she doesn't even sleep in there. She sleeps in the living room because she doesn't like it in there. It's it's the size of a classroom. She's got a pool table, like four couches. There's a big bathroom, own personal master. You know, she's got her bed. So I, I crash out in there. And they didn't really tell me a lot of the whole stories. But in the middle of the night, I experienced someone putting their hand on me like like kind of like just touching my back like shaking me a little bit oh. and i was like got up looked around didn't see anyone looked down under the bed even like someone's maybe laying down like touching me and then like hiding. i think they call this a wet dream yeah <laughs> so i'm i'm like what the fuck whatever like a couple times See, the ghost is here now. It's happening, bro. <laughs> well, stop telling this story. I, I, I don't want to talk about it. So, you were groped in your sleep. So I got touched a couple times like on my back, like shooken to be like woken up. I get up. I look around. There's nothing. I roll back over, and all of a sudden, I hear this noise. I turn around. The TV's on. I'm seriously kind of freaked out at this point, and I'm like, who's fucking with me in here? Right. And I'm like, I got, I got other family members that are there from out of town, from the city, and they're, they're wasted. They were all fucked up. I decided to go to bed at like 3.34 in the morning. They were still up around the campfire. So I'm thinking they're fucking with me. Nothing. So I get up. I look around the room. I look in the bathroom to see if anyone's in there. No one's in the room. The door is shut. Don't see nothing. So I turn the TV off because it's on this white static. Turn the TV off. I go back and lay down in bed. And not even like five minutes later... All of a sudden, I feel like as if someone laid down in the bed, and I fucking sprung Bruh. up. Uh, dude, it was weird as fuck. Like you know, if you like, you know, climbing yeah, in later. Yeah, you feel it sink. Yeah. Yeah, you feel it kind of like sinking behind you, and like it was weird as fuck. I jumped up, I looked around, didn't see anything. Went down by the door, didn't see anything through the door, and I was like, "What the fuck." Next thing you know, I get back in bed. I'm laying down. I'm about to fall asleep. See, that's one of the side effects of Cialis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Didn't you read the disclaimer? <laughs> There's a lot of things. It's like a minute and a half commercial about all the effects that it can take on yeah. you. Call more women after four hours. This, yeah. this story is just starting to remind me well, of the scary movie where the ghost pulls the upper skirt. And it's I was thinking of Ghostbusters when... where Dan Aykroyd gets the blowjob from the ghost. See that? No, this wasn't anything like that. Next thing you know, I'm falling asleep again, and a cat, they, you know, they're like, oh, I jumped on you. A cat was like dropped, like, yeah, straight on top of me, and like hit me and then took off running, and the door was open, which I know I shut. So then I was like, someone said something, how'd you sleep? And I'm like, what? Was that <laughs> fucking you? I was like, they're, they're like, no, like, what happened? Right, because you like that smiling. How'd you sleep last night? Right. Like they were fucking with you. Well, they said that her room was one of the rooms that had, like, a lot of activity. That's why she doesn't sleep in there. Well, my nephew, he had the worst case. Like I said, he will not go back there. He had a bunch of, he, he had, like, feelings, and he didn't like it there. And he drove an hour or so to go to a better school so he can get into a better college. So... And a lot of times he would stay with his friends. But he was in the room one night. He had a bunch of crucifixes and rosary beads hanging on his wall, like six of them or whatever. And he got up one morning and he found his phone, which was normally right next to his bed on the nightstand, over by the door. And he went and looked at it and there was a bunch of pictures of him sleeping. Bruh. And he turned the lights on. All the crucifixes and rosary beads were laying on the ground. You know what they should do? He then? won't go back in the Bruh. house. For that place? They should call up my friend Marsha. At the smudge shop, Wisconsin.etsy.com and get some of them smudge sticks to get rid of the spirits. See, I don't know. I wouldn't even fuck with it. My brother-in-law doesn't give a shit. He's like, whatever. See, I don't know what I believe. That's fucking, it's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's crazy. It, yeah, it's crazy. I remember staying at a friend's house as a young, young kid, and they had a room that was completely filled with laundry. They had like 12 people living in the house, you know, Fernando. So, oh, yeah. 
we were over at his house one night. I'm sleeping over, and we hear some noise, and his mom gets up, and we went down in the hallway, and they went up to the, the laundry room where they heard the noise. When they went inside the room, all the laundry was done and folded. They said they both seen her mom and his grandma standing there, waved, and then was gone. Wow. And all the shit was done, and she broke down in tears, freaking out. He was freaking out. I lived right next door. I ended up going home because it was so fucking crazy. I was probably like 10, have you 9, ever, 10. Have you ever had a spiritual experience? Actually, yeah. Uh, the house I grew up in in uh, Round Lake, in Round Lake Beach. I know which one you showed me. We were there before. Uh, no, that was the Spring Grove house. That house was cool. That house had uh, two giant diesel tanks in the basement that the cats would always get into and people <laughs> almost get lit on fire. Jesus, that sounds... Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. But, <laughs> but no, <laughs> the garage at our old house was haunted. It was fucking weird. Just the, the garage? Just the garage. I wouldn't so, be hanging out in that one. So first off, you'd walk in the garage and it was always... It'd be 90 degrees outside. you walk in that garage, it was fucking 70 degrees. It was weird. always fucking cold in that garage. And <laughs> and we had put... Uh, like a spirit just passed through my body. Yeah. The Chipotle, spirit of Chipotle. <laughs> oh, and, fuck. Uh, my mom had like, a, like an old dining set out there. Just, you know, back of the garage, there's chairs and shit. We go out there the one day, and we knew how they were set up. They were all... The table was like set up around. We go back out there the one day. They are stacked. The chairs are all stacked on top of the table. Yeah, I'd be fucking crazy. I'd be freaked out. Our neighbor's basement was haunted, too. And their washing machine one day ended up on the other side of the uh, other side of the basement. If anyone out there in the listeners have ever had an experience, it'd be awesome to kind of hear it. I w- I'm really curious on this and on what people have experienced in different occasions because I hope that there is and I believe in that in, in a way. But then again, like I'm a realist and don't know if that's real because no, you know, you can't confirm. But and things I, happen. I just want to say, as a parent of three kids, if any spirit out there wants to come to my house and fold my fucking laundry, <laughs> come on over. Come on, <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking in, dude. Uh, <laughs> this laundry over here never ends. That's fucking come on, spirits. I, 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 Fold that I, shit. I, I, yeah. I don't really like talking about it. I don't like fucking around with, with it and shit. It really does give me like the heat. It, it is weird because I've, I've, God, everyone asked me about this, but when I was a kid, I saw my grandfather who passed away at the fucking kitchen table. See, he I've waved at me, but it was like, I don't know though. Did I really? Did well, I really see it in you, the moment? I know I walked out of my room. I saw him. At the kitchen table. I know it was him. I described him, like, everything, but... Or did you manifest it? Right. Was I, like, still dreaming? Yeah. Was I in a weird state? Right. I don't know. I right. know what I saw. I definitely wasn't dreaming what And I, I can describe every fucking detail about it, but who knows if it was real or not. Right. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I mean what is anything to be real? Like, I could be sleeping right now. And this is part of my dream well, of us hanging thing. out. And that was they were talking about that. That's on <laughs> pinch him, pinch him. On Rogan, oh, right? They were talking about this could be all be a simulation with the Kevin, the Kevin Smith. Well, be. Harry, have you ever had something where like, all right, maybe if it was a simu, I can understand if it's a simulation for just you, but you have consciousness, right? Frankie's conscious. Yeah, barely. but have you ever imagined? <laughs> <laughs> but barely. <laughs> All right. If it was just my simulation, I, that would make sense to me. Yeah, but n- it can't. It can't be everybody's simulation. Because yes. how could we all be have different consciousness in? Yeah, we can't be all in a single together. person simulation. But how do you know that I'm not just making? Like, in my mind, I would. This is what I would think that my best friend on the show would be saying about this. Like, how do you know that this isn't a phantom of my imagination? So, like, have you a, ever had a, a time... A figment of your imagination? Yeah. That, what did I say? I don't a know. Phantom. phantom. Yeah. Jesus Christ, you're on a roll tonight. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm fucking... on ah, my ear itch. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. That's weird. Why am I ear itching? Who's fucking Because it's me? in the uh, simulation. So... <laughs> your ear's supposed to itch at that exact moment. We could get deep into that shit. And, and the, the but twilight. if this was your simulation, then I don't have any control of what I'm going to say or what I'm going to do. Exactly. No, it's predetermined. Right. I'm thinking of what you're going to say. And but you're, you're the same do. way, though, because I'm conscious. Are you? Or are you just saying what I'm thinking you're going to say? One more of these. I won't no, if, <laughs> if, if we were thinking, if we were saying what you were thinking, it'd be like, hey, man, we should totally buy a boat. 
Right. Been we, there, done that. We did buy a boat. Anyone want to buy hey, a boat? We, we, we should totally do something outrageous. Well, but how not pissed right, are you? Have who you ever, created your simulation? No, but all right. I, the simulation and why didn't they give different. you the ability to spell or read? <laughs> 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 like, aren't I you can, pissed off? Like, dude, couldn't you create a better simulation? If this was your simulation and we're just puppets in it. Right. I mean, wouldn't you be the king of your simulation? Can but all right. So what if your simulation is that? So there's some starving kid in Africa. That's his simulation, really. Right. That's what I mean. It, like, it's dude, all you part couldn't of the do world. better than this. Hey, man. Come on, bro. I hear you. I'm not on the simulation thing. But have you ever had a time where you thought of something and then it happened? So like, I remember a couple of times I was watching like the Bulls, and I didn't really watch a lot of the Bulls at this time. Like, you know, Rose was there. He was a great player. I didn't catch a lot of the games. I remember I started watching it and I was like, man, this guy's so amazing. I hope he doesn't get hurt and like tear his ACL. Jinxed Derek Rose. I, dude, I'm dead, I'm dead serious. In the game that I turned on that I haven't watched a game in like weeks, I turned it on. I started watching as a game that he tears his ACL and I watched it happen. And I thought it before the fact. And I'm so just you did that, it. You I, did it. I'm just saying if you ever had those. It's your fault. 100%. Quidin- I can't say this word, but the coincidences. Coincidence. 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 There you go. There we go. All right. The coincidences. <laughs> in this thing. You just said it right again. <laughs> I, that's how my tongue rolls when I say coincidence. I can't okay. say some things like shoulder and co, soldier. Just say co. Co. Wince. Wince. Uh. Uh. Dince. Dince. I sound like a fucking I don't think idiot a, if I say that. I don't it like think that. there's a W in that. No. <laughs> but just, if you. <laughs> But how you say it that way? Coince. Coince. Coincidence. There you go. There's no coince. I can't do it. All right, leave me the fuck alone. Huh? Coincidence. There's a W in there? No, there's a Q, but the O and Q make a W sound. Qu- uh, <laughs> I love this shit. I See, love your logic. I'm not the fucking. I'm, I'm not the fucking saying. I'm, I'm coincidence. The best at it, but oh god, I'm over it. I don't want to say it anymore. It's basically coince. Coincidence. There's no. I just I mean, when I say it in a sentence, I can't. All right. Coincidence. When I'm talking verbally in a conversation, when I go to say that word, I fuck it up. Same thing when I say shoulder and soldier, I can't use them in a sentence because I'll always say the opposite of what oh I'm trying to say. I'm gonna go to Shoulder Field to watch the Chicago Bears. Yes, I would. If that soldier, if shoulder, shoulder, shoulder is field, fucked up. It just I don't know. It's weird. People have different ticks like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yours is. Your daughter better. can't say her f still, and I'm Uncle Cranky. Uncle I, Cranky. I, I think she just calls you Uncle Cranky now. Yeah, I know. She knows. She's, she's, <laughs> she's, I, I've seen her. I was I, dying, I've though, heard, when your lady I've was I've heard like, her say fuck a multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. Your lady was saying that one night. She's like, you know, she always says, Uncle Cranky, Uncle Cranky. I've never seen you cranky in like eight years that I've known you. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know. I get cranky, I guess. Like, when you have kids, like, you don't, I mean, you're not, like, encouraging them to swear. But when they do, it's But so when funny. they do, and when they do it in the perfect well, yes, the, moment. the proper text context so of it. We're on, we're on the Grom, the, the bike, and we're fucking ripping it down the street. And my daughter's like, faster, faster. So I fucking <laughs> get on it. And my daughter just, like, just stops and goes, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't be mad. Right, they you know they use it in the right well, well, sense that was, and context. That it's was hilarious. like leaving your uh, sister's house when she got in the. She didn't hear her say it. She got in the truck. She's like, I'm freezing my ass off over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just so cute when they say yeah. it like that because she's literally freezing and it's so cold. She's freezing her she ass. Goes, off I'm freezing my ass off over here and it's cold as shit. <laughs> 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 and Kayla, I look at Kayla. And Kayla looks at her. She goes, Bella, don't say that. What it is though, <laughs> right? Like, she's so is. smart, and that was like probably when she was three. You know what I mean? She's so. No, that was two weeks ago. Oh, okay. All right. So, but still, she's been like that since she was like three. She's been really quick and when clever they swear in the right concept, yes. you just tip your glass and say, well, "Right." I remember hearing her say That's like, th- "Like there's shit again." Like you know what I mean? Like it's because you guys say like the same thing when there's shit at home. Like yeah. there's shit. Ag- the dog shit again. She's she, right there with you guys. Did she tell like a whole group of boys to go fuck off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. So the kids had this this band thing, and then they were like celebrating their concert. So we go to the we go to their uh, like celebration shit. They're giving awards away or whatever. 
so Bella's friends with all the boys' friends and stuff. She loves, like, playing with them and running around and shit. So she sits down and w- starts talking to the one kid, but he wants to, like, you know, yeah. play with his friends and the older kids. And so Bella just stands up. She goes, well, fuck you guys then. <laughs> <laughs> and then just runs off and goes and plays with the other kids. Just She's so ruthless. Dude, she is a straight savage. The fact that, like, when her brothers do stuff, like drifting their bikes or, or doing something, like, on the on the skateboard, she's like, I could do that. And she, like, goes and drifts her bike so fast. Like, and I love, like, too, like, how you parent and, like, like she'll fall and she'll look over and she's not crying. But you know how kids are. They look she to see the reaction. <laughs> right, she wants to. And then she'll start. Like, my time, like, when that happens, my reaction, I'm like, oh, and you're like, bro, chill. Chill. Well, see, that plants a seed. Like, right, for them to be start, okay. Yes. Yeah. So now every... And you're like, get up, you're okay, and she does. If you She's freak totally out, fine. they're going to freak out. Yep. I love and that's it. that's how it is. She's like, so savage. She'll get right up and be like, did you see me fall down? It hurt really bad, but I'm going to do it again. Well, sometimes, I mean, she'll fuck up her knee, and she'll run over, and like, it's okay. Dude, It'll she's going right. to be way more of a badass than I ever was or will be. Oh, dude, she's savage. You got... Serious trouble out of you. Fucked. Yeah, she you needs are. To stop washing That's what I'm saying. Shit like, just, just, <laughs> just spending Bro. time with her, cuddling with her, watching movies. Yeah, with her. enjoy that now. Yes, but she likes to 12, go hard 13. when she plays. Like, we'll be out here having the barbecues, Tell and to she go fuck off. is just all about just nonstop going. Like, exactly. let's and do you this. Let's play it, this. You know yeah. What I'm saying? Dude, oh yeah. I came over today. Kayla's full on laundry, and Bella's watching like. Knock off Disney princesses on the green on a green screen thing. And I look at Kayla. I go, "Yo, this looks like the beginning of a porno." <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's it, some weird stuff is, on YouTube. Oh, dude, she, but those, she you like have to monitor. Like, put, yeah, I don't yes, mind her. Yeah. Why? I mean, I don't. I don't want her to get like extreme into it. But it is, it, like I said before, with the parenting, like. Sometimes, you know, I want to watch YouTube. It's like, okay, but you really got to watch what the fuck they're watching. Right. Because some of this shit. And that's all they really want to do. They're constantly telling you, can we watch YouTube? Can we wave your phone? And you're like, no, go play. There's this like Japanimation fucking thing where like this cat kills this fucking other cat. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And now my daughter, I want to watch the kill cat video. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, and it's not like a harmful video, but it's, it's like it's a, a fucking disturbing, weird, yeah. disturbing. You don't video. want your daughter well, watching. Well, that like stuff, I said, I, I came over today, and it's <laughs> it's a green screen, and a woman dressed up as you know Sleeping Beauty walks in, and they're having a conversation with Snow White. And there's a dude, and I don't know who this fucking dude is, but he's got these chops, and he, I swear to God, I'm like. I looked at Kayla. I go, yo, this looks like the beginning of a fucking porno. Right. <laughs> His like, dick's got sideburns. Like, like, this dude walks in and it's like, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, they oh, have man. just horrible shows. I mean, even now, even on, like, cartoons, like, it's all, you know, a lot of it used to be about violence. Like, you know, even Tom and Jerry. They put a disclaimer right, on, on cartoons. Looney Tunes and fucking Tom and Jerry. The only thing I don't like if you... Well, you guys don't you guys don't have kids, so you don't really watch this shit. But I don't watch ever, cartoons. Fuck off. I'm not talking about <laughs> cartoons. I'm talking about like the Disney shows, like like iCarly, yeah, like shit like that. The parents are the dumbest motherfuckers on the face of the earth. So like the kids in these shows, the kids are really constantly right. like, yes, they they run the show. They talk to their parents. Their parents make a dumb comment. And everyone laughs about how stupid they are. So, like, these kids watch these fucking shows, and they're like, my parent don't know fucking shit. Right, like, I, I know run the all. fucking I house. They're right. setting you up for the downfall. Exactly. And it's so, you don't notice it. But it's Because there. you don't watch it. Yeah, but when you do actually pay attention and watch what your kids are watching, you're like, what the fuck? These parents are idiots. Yeah, they, they make those shows around with you know what i mean right like the kids fucking trying cool to do order. their homework hey dad check this out and then the dad and the mom getting like a fight and the dad's like where's the dishwasher <laughs> and then the kid's like dad you fucking idiot it's right over here it just doesn't make any sense but yeah. it makes the kids look like they know everything and the parents don't know shit and then the kids bring that into real life and think that yeah, that they know right. more and that they're they're in control and like they're just here to cater it. to me. I understand it's a kids show, but it's just an observation that I've made. 
I think that's very valid too. And like yeah. I said, like back in the day, like other cartoons, Tom and Jerry, all that is is fighting. It's you know what I mean. That's what? an assignment it's for all uh, the parents out there. Watch a uh, watch Disney what your cha- kids are watching. Watch a Disney Channel television show and tell me they don't make the parents look like fucking idiots. Right back in the day, show. shows they would have parents that actually gave them like knowledge. Family Matters, <laughs> like shit like that. Step by step, there right. was always like a message. A even full yeah full house there was always like the kids would get into some shit and was, then there'd be like a big talk at the end right and they'd the be parent like, would come yeah. in and be like i understand okay. why you did that there was but, all, but here's this why is, you can't do right that. now it's like a moral conundrum. the parents a fucking idiot right and the kid the kid's the one who comes in and says dad don't do that yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> like, dad, what you, you can't put laundry soap in the dishwasher dad because it's not it the same up. it's different chemicals dad but they make these kids the way that, like you said, they're the star of the show. They're superheroes. They're saving the day, and their parents are so fucking dumb that they don't know that they're a superhero. Or, you know what I mean, that they're going out at night fighting crime. And it's it's just, I don't know. I, I agree with you on that 200%. Well, PJ Mask. I mean, these kids are dressed in pajamas fighting crime in the middle of the night. <laughs> Streets are empty. I'm like, there's no one around. What are these kids' parents? Right. You think if my daughter got up in the middle of the night and snuck out the window, I wouldn't notice? Right? Well, dare cause, you. Cause she's That's just quiet. bad parenting. <laughs> she's not quiet. No, she's either. not. She'd be fumbling around her room. Fucking I'm going to fight crime. <laughs> right. Put her blue wig on and slide out the window. Yeah. Jeez. Where are these parents? She is yeah. savage, though. So. Yeah, it's... Little bundle of joy. It's, unfortunately, it's a different time. Like we, like we said last week, there is no real comedy anymore because everybody is afraid to put on a movie that will make people laugh because you get, you get laughs... At fucking not normal shit. Well, we just did a Joker review, and the guy who directed Joker obviously did an amazing job. Yeah. But he's so a good. comedy director. He did old school right. and fucking... Did he do Wedding Crashers? I don't know. I don't remember. But he did... He he does comedy movies, and they asked him. He's like, you just you really can't do comedy movies like that anymore because everyone's just so fucking sensitive. Right. Well, think about it. You're, you're not going to get cartoons anymore like the Boondocks. The boon, did you ever watch the Boondocks? No, no. I didn't even know First off, was. rest in rest in peace to John Witherspoon. Yeah, pops, pops, because <laughs> don't go in there. Thirty five, forty five minutes. <laughs> I put I put it up on our I put it up on our uh, Instagram. Uh, you know we we were all fi- big fans of Friday and all that shit. And pops so was good. always bang bang bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. All day long, flip a dog's ass. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang up his ass. Great Dude, comedic. So great good. comedic So actor. funny. Yeah. And then, like, even back, I loved him on, um, I don't remember what it was called, but it was where he was the dad of the Marlon Brothers. The, the show, Waynes Brothers. The Way, was it called the Waynes Brothers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That show was a really good show back in the day, too, with the newsstand and all that. What was the, the diner. Song? He had, didn't he have this, a song? We're 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 sing, yeah, we're singing it. We're coming. No, 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 no. Give me a high five. No, that was, then it, like, that, was from, that was from In Living Color. No, that, that was no, the Wayans Brothers theme song. It was the Wayans Brothers theme song. And oh, then, that's then right. they went oh, into yeah, theirs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they get started with them all like happy and yeah. blah, blah, blah. And it was a good show. It was funny, I thought. No, and no, Pops was I, really good on that. Didn't Pops have a fucking like radio hit? Just bang, bang, bang all night long. Didn't Maybe. he make that a song like in the seventies? Probably. Isn't that what it was? Should have. I think didn't. that was one of the episodes. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Just in the bang, bang, so, bang. Our condolences to the Witherspoon family. Yeah, he put out just comedy gold for the world. Just what a natural comedian. Just yeah, like just talking, having a conversation. You would just die laughing. He's did, not even trying. He, right. He did a like. There's comedians that fucking try their whole life trying to get a laugh and he's just hanging out talking, talking just and you're killing just, yeah, your cracking cheeks up. hurt he did the he did the rogan podcast with his son jd didn't and, see and, that's and, gotta be a good episode and jd is a comedian and jd does a lot of shit on uh, a lot of shit on youtube he had a video of remember when vr PA, PA, uh playstation vr first came out and it was the shark one yeah i want to check they, that out they so. have john witherspoon do with the shark one. Oh, get away from me <laughs> <laughs> see like he's not even trying he's just naturally rela- reacting and it's right fucking hilarious yeah you know? we all should try that shit Comedic actually gold. wonk said he just got one he's been like gotta come over and check it out that vr shit he says fucking awesome i want to check it out he's i think the oculus really, yeah with the oculus whatever the headset rip. and shit i'm yeah, in bro you so that's a walk. we're gonna go out there and check it out but listen you gotta remember don't walk 
Oh, dude, I'm going to fall on my face. I feel like I'm so nervous. But I want to see what it looks like because I remember seeing at the uh, – uh, when we went to the NFL draft and we saw the uh, – uh, yeah, you put the VR, VR on and glasses it was like on you were on the field and shit. Yeah, yeah it looked was, fucking it, cool. It was raining and all fucking shitty that day. They're all it was still fucking up. awesome. Shout out to your boy and the uh, shitty cowboys and then my uh, my buddy at work and the shitty cowboys. Fuck the cowboys. That's what I'm saying. Cowboys. Bear down, bro. I know bears can't. We can't talk. Well, I think a lot of people. Fans. What it is is they grew up in the you Emmett know Smith. Yeah, we grew up in that era of the so early we, '90s, yeah. so people were. Fairweather fans, they were cowboy fans because of Emmett Smith, they and they winning. were winning Super Bowls. Yes, right. And people, jackets. some people just never left. Like Le- LeBron James, a Cowboys fan. Why? He's my age. He right. grew up with the fucking Cowboys. But how many ass. kids grow up as a, a, a Cavaliers fan because of LeBron or whatever? And right, that's what it's. Gonna you think be. they're going to be Cavaliers fans forever now? No, nah, they're, they're no, they're all Laker fans. They're Laker jumping fans. off. Yeah, they're jumping off that bandwagon. They're but there's a team like from Taco Tuesdays. The nuts. Cowboys are America's team. No, they're and, not. Oh, Patriots they're not. are America's. Now team. I guess they're dominating now. Uh, so. As sad as I want to, <laughs> I, I don't want to say it. Green Bay is America's team. How dare you? What Patriots? I'm, I'm and I'm telling you. Because of Patriots are the favorite, then it would be the Cowboys for the, sure, and then New York for the, some reason. Little Wayne, is, Little Wayne is a Packer fan, and that's your boy, Frankie. And here's I've, a fucking I PSA to all the fucking the Packers day. fans who talk shit about the Bears. If it wasn't for the Bears, you wouldn't have a goddamn five thousand dollar check from George S. Hallis. Right. And Little with knowledge. That being, with that being said, enjoy your team, Packers. Bear down, you can thank the Bears. Woo! And A, side note, Babe Ruth replaced George Hallis in the outfielder for the Yankees. George Hallis wow. started the NFL then after that. For Knowledge. Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thank you all very much for listening. We'll see you again next week. Wednesday, new podcast comes out. Joker, Joker Review. Joker Review. Let's <laughs> do <in> the left. <laughs>